Okay, massive breaking news. Um, seems like there's a new top head coaching candidate for teams that need a head coach. Teams that need a head coach probably just got really excited. Mike Vrabel, uh, you know, it's uh, I, it's weird because it was initially reported he is fired. I, I believe now, uh, you know, some people were saying that it's, uh, you know, Rappaport kind of just said he's not returning, uh, but Schefter put it as fired. So, you know, if it's fired, that's pretty shocking. Uh, if it's more of a mutually parted ways, which is what I was kind of expecting, I, I could see that. Uh, but this is a, a really kind of surprising development. I mean, for uh, Vrabel, listen, uh, I'm not going to sit here and say that, like, the X's and O's are, like, otherworldly, but, like, the results are the results, and the X's and O's have still been pretty good uh, year in and year out, so the fact that he's just gone like this after one bad season, I mean, I guess you could argue, you know, last year wasn't great either, uh, although, Again, I mean, they were a Josh Dobbs fumble away from still making the playoffs last season. So, like, I don't know if I would completely, uh, you know, hold it against them too much. If, if Tannehill stayed healthy, they make the playoffs that year. This is the one year you look at and say it wasn't great. But even in this year, I mean, I don't know what coach would have done great stuff in that situation. So, to see him go is really shocking. And, and it's one of those things where it's like, what's the... Who are you going to hire uh, that would be better is what you typically think. Now, again... We have seen this kind of thing work out, right? Miami uh, hi got rid of Brian Flores, which was a surprise, but they went out and they got, uh, you know, Mike McDaniel, who's ended up working out better. Uh, and maybe it's a kind of a situation where they feel like Vrabel's a good enough coach they can't fully tank and can't fully get a good quarterback uh, with, uh, you know, Vrabel because he's going to win you enough games to kind of get you out of number one pick contention. Maybe it's a situation like that. Or maybe it's just, hey, you know, they don't like how this, you know, where they're tr trending and they want to try to make a move now. Um, and again, I wonder to some degree, did they talk to Vrabel and did Vrabel kind of say, yeah, I, you know, I don't mind going somewhere else. We can, we can make that work. But I do not see a scenario where Vrabel is not a head coach, uh, unless he doesn't want to, unless he wants to take a year off. I think he is going to be a head coach somewhere. I don't know exactly where. It'd be interesting if, like, the Patriots got rid of uh, Belichick and then hired Vrabel. I don't know if that's going to happen, but... I mean, the Chargers instantly jumps out to me as an interesting potential opportunity because obviously the Herbert factor, I think that would be an enticing job opportunity. I think he could you know, want to go there. There ended up not being as many vacancies as we maybe thought going in, but I can also see Atlanta, which is interesting because that was Arthur Smith, right, Which who used to be the coordinator for uh, Vrabel. And, you know, say what you want about Arthur Smith, he has had success as an offensive coordinator, and I do wonder if Vrabel would bring Arthur Smith back as an offensive coordinator, not if they go to Atlanta, but if they went somewhere else, uh, does a situation like that happen? Uh, which is, again, what I find fascinating. There isn't, a, there really isn't a ton of, you know, Washington's another option. I don't know exactly where you go, uh, but it's just, it's interesting, and, you know, uh, it's, uh, you know, Adam Schefter just tweeted out, Got, he won co uh, Coach of the Year just a couple years ago, and now he has been, uh, you know, now he's out, now he's out of there. So from you know, what a fall from grace! Two years ago to one seed, and now uh, out of the playoffs altogether, or out of the playoffs, out of the you know, not a head coach altogether. Although I have a feeling that he will, uh, I have a feeling he'll be back here. Hey, maybe you get, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe some team. Uh, fires their head coach. They get Vrabel. Bill Belichick gets fired. He's the defensive coordinator there. Uh, you get Arthur Smith as an offensive coordinator. I don't know. Uh, there's a there's a package potentially for Vrabel. I don't know if people want Arthur Smith, but I, I don't know. He was good in Tennessee. Either way, uh, interesting stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.